Uh, I'm Drew Sullivan. I'm the editor of the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I want to talk a little bit today about uh, investigating people and businesses. Um, when, we're do, when we're going off and investigating uh, someone for a project, um, we typically want to collect every single piece of information we know about this person. And the primary source of our information comes from public records. Um, if you think of an individual, uh, the things that happen in their life, uh, they're born, um, uh, they get married, they go to school, they sometimes divorce, they start businesses, they buy cars, they buy real estate. All these things uh, generate information about people. It shows you how much money they have, uh, who their friends are, who they're doing business with. And so we want, at every single point along the way, we want to collect uh, the public records that are generated by these people. Uh, and that gives us a lot of information and helps us piece together their life and the things that they're doing so that we can go back and see where those lives intersect with either bad people or with bad deeds. Um, uh, if you're investigating a business, it works very much the same way. Uh, a business is born, uh, a business uh, dies, a business gets married in that it merges with other businesses, it divorces in that it breaks apart from other businesses, it buys real estate, it has, starts new projects. Um, and again, in the same way, all these records are available. Um, and in businesses, even more so than an individual. And so what we want to do is we want to collect all that information. We want to use something called the Freedom of Information Act, or every country has their own uh, uh, Freedom of Information Act to some degree. And you use this, uh, this law to request information on these businesses. Um, you talk to regulators, you talk to oversight organizations that, that might look into these businesses. These businesses might have to file certain information, like individuals file taxes. These businesses will file um, uh, securities and exchange information on, on the issuance of stock and other things. And so in the course of every single one of these records, these relationships uh, show through. Um, you can't hide a lot of this information. And so what we recommend is that you collect all the information and keep collecting it, keep reading it, and keep understanding everything that's in the document. You should be able to understand everything that's, in, that's happening to somebody if you're doing a good investigation. Um, so that at the end, before you even talk to the people that are involved, you know the answer to every single question. That's our end goal. So that's my advice. I'm Drew Sullivan.